Welcome back to Moby Arena. Colorado State sweeps the Aztecs of San Diego State. And uh, this one got off to a back-to-back uh, -back start, a uh, seesaw affair. Head coach Tom Hilbert to talk about this. First of all, let's talk about the scouting report that you had uh, looking at this squad. I think they're a dangerous squad. they got talent all over yeah, the place. And it just depends what day that they put it right. all together. How do you handle that? You know, they're very athletic. I mean, the deal is they, they, do, uh, they don't have the ability to play with that level of consistency and athletic athleticism over the 25 points yeah and so you have to not give anything away and i thought in the first set we did that they played well in the first set san diego state did and we played pretty well with them then we had a four i think a three or four point run against us yep call a timeout we come back we tie it up and we you know, I just felt like our team's playing with great maturity, even in situations like that. Yeah, not getting rattled at all. I mean, you play a clean match so far. I mean, you hit over 400 on the match. You only end yes. up with seven errors. And I think that's probably the other biggest key. Why do you think that your attack was as clean as it was here against San Diego State today? Well, because we emphasize it all the time. Okay. And I mean, it, it's, you know, and when our outside hitters are usually the ones who will make a mistake, yeah. uh, getting impatient. Okay. And we've been talking about just have patience and stay in these rallies. And I thought Bri <coughs> Brianna especially was swinging with so much confidence today. You know, everything that she did, she finally had an error in the second set. You know what I mean? And she was just on fire. And <coughs> that's the kind of stuff we like. Well, uh, you came in as one of the best blocking teams in the entire country. You only tally three yeah, on the day. Is that just a function of I – and mean, look, I San Diego State was doing a lot of yeah. things. They were having problems getting the ball into attack windows. So yeah. I actually kind of look at that as seeing – I mean, you got tooled a little bit in that yeah. first, first set, and then you changed up. Yeah, but we aren't taking up space like we were earlier in the year. Okay. And it's, it's – it's, it's, is, blocking is a matter of split seconds. And we finally got a, a stuff there at the end. We need to stuff more balls. And it's it's about being maybe an inch or two further over the net. Okay. You know what I mean? And and um, we, our team, earlier in the summer we were doing, or in the season we were doing it, we got to get back to that because we're going to need that. Oh, you certainly will, especially when you go on the road here in yeah. the next two contests against a very good Boise State squad. They're next up on the docket. Well, sweep for you. Congratulations, Thank Coach. You. Well done. Appreciate your time. And we're joined by the newest member of the 1,000 kill yes, 500 right. block club. All right, so now what does this mean? What do you do? Right, so you're now just exchanging text messages with, with McKenna Barnes and uh, Megan Floyd and uh, Angela wish. Knopf. Is that how that works? I wish. You know, as soon as I found out who was the top, like who the four players who ever got it, I was so excited because Megan Floyd was like my dream player when I was growing up. And I was like, I want to be like her. Um, and so it's just such a cool feeling that I'm in there with her and like I can be considered with her. So it's super exciting. I was going to say, I don't know if you guys have a secret room here at Moby Arena. You have, uh, you, you, you can have your some reunions down the road and you can sit here and reminisce on that stuff. There, but yeah. let's talk about today and what happened today. You had another fantastic day. Zero errors, 12 kills. I think it was uh, 18 swings. And there was no answer on the other side of the net for you today. Did you know that going in? Uh, I did not. You know, I just wanted to cut in and play as well as I could for my team. And, uh, it's pretty exciting. I had no idea what I was going to come out with, and I literally just now is the first time I've heard what I got. So <laughs> that's yeah, that's exciting. a pretty good day. I mean, it was all coming along, and you're just rolling along doing what you do right there. Sure. Um, let's talk about the rest of this contest. Uh, obviously, uh, Coach Hilbert was talking about the blocking a little bit. You accounted for the lone stuff block, uh, termination block at the net here today. He seems to think that there's some more there's more ability for your team to get better in that department because you were really, really good before, and you're still one of the best blocking teams in the country. What has fallen off in your mind, and what do you need to do to get back to being dominant at the net? I think it's super key to focus on when we're heading into conference play that a lot of the Mountain West teams hit at a lower level. Yeah. So uh, a lot, we played a lot of high, a lot of tall teams in preseason, and so it's easier for us because we're high and we're tall teams. Yeah. And that's what we see in practice every day. So when we play these shorter teams that have shorter players, they're sneaking it under us. And so we got to figure out and keep working on how to take off those low angles okay. so that they don't continue to burn us on those low ones because something we might get in practice or might have gotten in preseason against like a 6'5 girl sure. um, just isn't the same as hitting against like a 5'11 girl. Yep, outstanding. We saw that today. I mean, not a whole, not a whole lot of uh, head toppers on the other side, but uh, some athleticism. Okay, let's talk about the final part uh, of this contest. You know, it's, you got an opportunity for some uh, second teamers to come out and play. Ellie Gubser comes out and she's, she's just hit fireballs all over the place with three kills and you know, Sierra Zimmerman starting to run the show. And I just noticed the celebration for your team afterwards. It was almost like you were more happy for them playing well than you were about getting this sweep over San Diego State. How great was that for the, the team? How did they feel when this one wrapped up? That was such a cool feeling. Like uh, I was talking about earlier, these players are such critical players in practice. And so it's such a cool feeling that, you know, everybody else in the stands can see it and that they get out on the court. And that I think Ellie hit a 1,000. And mm -hmm. that is so exciting, so cool for her because she is 
you know, such a critical player on our team. Um, so it's just cool to see them out there. And Sierra's an awesome setter, and uh, it was just super cool to see him out there. Yep, Zimmerman gets uh, a couple of digs along with six assists and one kill. She hit 1,000, too. How uh, about that? Yes, she did. Watch yes, out. Did. <laughs> Gonna lose your spot, even though you're a, a senior member here at oh 1,500 no. Club. Uh, he, kids are hitting 1,000. They're coming for you. <laughs> Kirstie, congratulations on not only the accomplishment in your career, but also the victory here today. Thank you so much. That's Kirstie Hillier, our player of the match.